Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I am so excited about. I have never done anything like this here on my channel. You guys know that I do my monthly favorites, but this is so much more than monthly favorites. These are top 10 beauty products of the entire year. These are tried and true month after month products that I seriously highly recommend and truly obsessed with. We'll continue to wear, use them, love them, buy them into the new year, but I had to share them with you guys. I will put links to all of the products down below. I'm probably going to do some honorable mention because there are a few other products other than these 10 beauty products that I'm going to show you guys in this video that really do deserve a, an honorable mention. So make sure to check out the links down below in the info box for everything that I mentioned, but let's go ahead and get started. So before we jump into the first beauty product, I do want to say thank you to Nordstrom Beauty for sponsoring today's video, but this first product, you guys, I am seriously obsessed with, and I get asked all the time how I keep my hair looking healthy, and I will say I do not have perfect hair, but one of the products that I have been using, I started using this year, and at first, I remember whenever I first bought these, I was a little bit like taken back by the price, but I have since bought repeats because I love them so much. And what I am talking about are these slip scrunchies. So I actually have two different sizes. I have these smaller ones. I also have the larger ones. I actually just went ahead and bought an extra package to have because I do prefer these smaller scrunchies. These right here, these are great. So it comes in a six pack. These really put a lot less pressure and stress on your hair so when you go to take your hair out of a you know a bun or you know a low a low ponytail or a ponytail whatever it is if you have your hair back in one of these when you go to pull it out it doesn't pull out your hairs with it, it and also I notice it leaves a lot less of a crease I know on the packaging I believe it says it will not leave a crease at all that is true if you do a very very light low ponytail or something like that but if you truly put your hair up in a bun or something you're going to get some sort of crease it's just not as noticeable it, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty mild crease I really really recommend these I know that there are a lot of people that sleep with their hair up in a bun or up in a pony or something and this is what I highly highly recommend they are kind of expensive ex for what you get but these really have helped the breakage of my hair a ton so like I said you guys ask all the time how I keep my hair healthy this is one of the things that I use this next beauty product you guys are probably probably tired of me talking about it, but I couldn't make this video without including it in this video because it truly is like, I'm obsessed, you guys. I am seriously obsessed. It makes a great gift. It would be great for yourself if you have not found your go-to perfume. It's this one right here. So I did get another bottle. So this is a brand new bottle because I've already run out of my other. And it is the Jo Malone Honeysuckle and Divana Fragrance. Y'all, this stuff smells incredible. I, I love it. It's great for every day. It's great for evening. It's so fresh. It's just heavenly, you guys. Like, it seriously just smells so feminine and beautiful and just, it's, it's so good. It really is such a beautiful, beautiful perfume. I am more of like a signature scent type of girl. I use this one. I use my Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. These are the only two scents that I use. And I will say, I have been a Chanel... Coco Mademoiselle Girl for years, y'all. Years. And this one right here is beating it right now. This is my go-to. I wear this basically almost every single day. I get so many compliments on it. I feel like it wears really nicely throughout the day. And it's just such a beautiful scent. If you are looking for a signature scent or just something different and beautiful and fresh and clean, something you can wear every single day, something you can wear to the office, check this one out. Uh, I love it. So the next beauty product is definitely a splurge, but I have bought it multiple times because I love it that much. And what I'm talking about is this La Mer product. So this is basically their essence water. If you've ever tried an essence water, you cleanse, you tone, and then you do an essence. It basically adds that like hydration back to your skin. You can do the serums. It helps your serums kind of soak in a little bit better. I truly, truly love this product. I have tried other essences that I have liked as well, but this one has been my favorite, at least of the ones that I've tried so far. This is the kind of product that my skin needs because I am dry kind of combination skin. It really helps my serum soak in my my moisturizer even soak in and it's exactly what i need to keep those like moisture levels like balanced if that makes sense and i i just really love this it makes my skin feel so good hydrated 
nourished and balanced. So yes, if you are looking to try an essence water, give this one a try. Next up, I want to talk about a cleansing balm. So this cleansing balm by LMS has been one of my favorites. So I love a good cleansing balm, but if I had to pick one, it would be this one. I just love the way, not only that it glides on the skin, it really melts away your makeup, but the way that it rinses clean and leaves your face clean afterwards. I love that I can remove all of my makeup very, very gently and then do a gentle wash before I truly get into my skincare products. And this feels so good on the skin. It nourishes the skin. It doesn't strip the skin. It really, truly melts away all of your makeup. So whether you wear light makeup, whether you wear no makeup, but maybe you just wear sunscreen, you still need to remove that sunscreen. And most cleansers are not strong enough to remove a sunscreen. So this is the kind of product that you can use even just like the tiniest bit. Rub that all over your face, melt away the sunscreen, your, your makeup, your eye makeup, everything, rinse it clean, and then you can start your skincare. Or maybe you just want to remove your makeup because you're home for the day. You're not ready to do your skincare quite yet. You can use something like this to get that makeup off and it's not going to strip your skin where you're going to feel tight and dry. You're going to have like this little layer of hydration after you rinse this off. So you can do your, your skincare later if you want to, but I really truly just love this. If you are looking to do, if you wear makeup, like I said, and you're looking to do more of like a double cleanse, check this one out. It is my favorite. Speaking of sunscreen, so I've talked about this before. It is so important, you guys, and I am surprised by how many people do not wear sunscreen every single day. So I have gone through many different brands of sunscreen, and there are several that I like, but I found this one this year, y'all, and it is so good. It is by Supergoop. It is the Unseen. I love the texture of this. So what I mean by that is once you put it on, you don't have that greasy film all over your face. It is actually kind of like a mattified uh, um, layer of, of hydration. The texture is definitely very unique. I have never seen anything like it in a sunscreen. I have felt uh, primers that are similar, but it is definitely very, very different for a sunscreen. So I use this under my makeup and it does amazing. I have no problems with it, but my favorite way to use this is on days that I don't wear any makeup. And that is because you don't look like a greasy mess if you walk out the door with sunscreen. This right here leaves your skin like a satin matte finish and you just look like yourself. You look like yourself. You're not greasy. You don't look crazy. You just look like you don't have any makeup on. And that's okay sometimes. Like I don't wear makeup every single day. And this has been my go-to like no makeup sunscreen, but I also love the way that it layers underneath makeup. So yes, if you're looking for a sunscreen, if you're the person I'm talking about, you're not wearing sunscreen every day, give this one a try. So this next beauty product I actually purchased at the beginning of the year, but I wanted to use it for a few months because it is definitely a splurge item. And I didn't want to start talking about it or recommending it until I had a few months to use it before I could really say that, that I loved it, that I saw a difference in my skin, that it made a difference in my skin. And what I'm talking to you guys about is the Glow Pro. So this one, like I said, it is kind of pricey, but I really do love it. So where I notice the biggest difference is when I stop using it. So I have noticed a difference. If I stop using this for a couple of weeks, I notice a difference in my skin. I know that that means that I've got to get back to it. So sometimes I use it every day. Sometimes I just use it a few times a week, but even if you just kind of stay on track using it a few times a week, you will notice a difference in your skin. I really feel like this helps your serum soak in, your mask soak in, things like that. Your product just go a little bit deeper. There are a few sets I believe that you can get right now for Christmas. I just have the original one. I do have the rose quartz that I love. I love that adapter as well. I use this at night and then I use this one in the morning, especially if I wake up and I just feel puffy, right? Like maybe you ate a lot of salt, maybe you had pizza for dinner the night before. You can use something like this to really help tame that just it just kind of helps it helps just kind of it feels amazing on the skin it helps just kind of sculpt everything back and I just love the way that it feels so I I love this if you are looking to get one beauty tool for your face give the glow Pro a try so next up I want to go into another hair product that I found this year and love and that is the Orbe dry texturizing spray I feel like this is a lot of people's favorites because it's truly that amazing you guys. I actually find some days I don't even need to use dry shampoo because this is kind of like a dry shampoo and a texturizing spray all in one. It's good y'all. It is pricey but I feel like it lasts a long time. You need a very very little and it does the job. It's really really good. So like I said especially since you're kind of getting a two-in-one I notice if I put this first I use a lot less dry shampoo or I don't even need to use dry shampoo because 
it just works. I don't know how they do it. It's magic. I love a lot of Orbe's products, but if I were to pick one, this would be the one. It's really good. I think they might have an Orbe set right now that includes this. I'll link it down below for you guys. Whether you have straight hair, whether you have curly hair, whether you have thick hair, whether you have fine hair, I find that this is, this works. This works whenever I curl my hair. This works whenever my hair is flat. Like right now, if I were not wearing a hat, I would have put this on the roots as well because it works great. But then also when I use like my curling wand, this works great as well. So I really do love this. So if you are trying to add just a little bit of texture to your hair, whether it's straight, whether it's curly, whether it's thin, whether it's thick, give this one a try. It really is the best texturizing spray I've ever used. Speaking of hair, I do have another hair product. Well, technically hair tool that I want to mention, and it is the... T3, this is actually called the Whirl Trio. You can actually purchase all of these individual though. So I have the Whirl Trio, which includes a one inch barrel, a one and a half inch barrel, and then a tapered barrel. So I actually use the one inch barrel the most. I do use the one and a half inch every once in a while. I don't use this one very much, just being honest. So in my opinion, you really can technically just purchase the base and then purchase the size that you want. So it's really easy to remove the barrel and change it. So here's what the barrel looks like. You can just put it right back in and then you lock it just like that and you're good to go. So you can buy different attachments. You can even buy the ones with the clip if you prefer that will go on this base if you want. But I really prefer using a wand. I find I can really curl and do like a wave or just like a little bend in my hair super quickly, like super, super easy and fast. And Every time that you guys ask what I have been curling my hair with, it has been this. The only time that I use the one and a half inch size is if I am refreshing it, like on two day or three day hair. If It's already got a curl, but I'm just kind of adding a little bit more of a curl to it. Sometimes if I do this, it's too much, or sometimes I don't want necessarily curl. I just want like a bend in it, so I'll use that one. But I can create a bend with this one. So every single look that I've ever shown you, I can create that look with this one inch. So you don't even have to buy the trio if you want. I will link these two pieces separate, but I'll also link the trio if you just want to have both just or all three. I just find this one to be super, super user friendly. There are different heat settings here as well. And then this piece right here does not get hot. So you can actually rest your hand or you could hold it. So I'll just kind of show you what I do. I just grab like a piece just like this and I grab it. And then once I'm done, I rest my hand on the edge. I let it sit for eight to 10 seconds or so. And then I let it go just like that. And then that obviously it's not plugged in. So you're not going to see a curl here, but that is basically how I use it. So you are able to use the cap to rest your hand on. So it just is super user friendly. So I'll link this definitely down below. Next up, I want to go into a makeup product that I have fallen in love with. So this was actually all by accident that I had a chance to try this product. And I have since bought two since then. So it's love like you guys and I feel like this is one of those products that can be kind of tricky when you first try them out or just depending on your skin type and for me my particular skin type this type of product can definitely be very tricky and the product that I am talking about is the Charlotte Tilbury magic powder so this you can use under your eyes you can use on your entire face I use it basically as my setting powder and y'all it is amazing so I have like dry combination skin and powders it just in general make my skin feel tight and um just dry and this does not do that to my skin i don't know how they did it i really do not know how they did it but it's seriously magic one of the other things that i really really like about this powder is the actual packaging so this is a brand new one i have one that i'm active actively using but it's a hot mess trust me um, but i wanted to show you the actual packaging so whenever you peel this back there are holes here let me see if I can show you. Hold on. So you've got the holes here, which is the sifter so that you can pour out exactly what you need in the cap. But then when you're not using it, all you have to do is turn this right here to cover it. And you don't have to worry about your product spilling everywhere. So you can use this for travel. That's one of the things that most people hate about loose powders is it gets everywhere. So I literally pour out what I need into the cap, swirl my brush, you know, apply it as needed. And then I close the cap we are good to go. So, mat so no matter if I grab this, whether it's for travel or I grab this to throw it in my handbag, my makeup pouch, whatever it is, I don't have to worry about this just kind of getting everywhere. So I, I truly love this powder. If you still haven't found your like go-to powder, give this one a try. I love it. Mine is in the color two fair medium. I'm wearing it today. 
I love it. The coverage is amazing. It feels great on the skin. It's not tight. It's not drying. It's also not sparkly, which is also a must for me. I, I really genuinely love this powder. So the last product favorite that I had to mention that I truly fell in love with this year is Dipti Candle. So Roses is one of my favorites, but I also really, really love the Bay scent. That one's a great year-round, everyday scent, but just in general, how beautiful are these candles? So these make a perfect, perfect gift. A lot of times when it comes to gift giving, we'll spurge a little bit more, and I feel like these are so chic and elegant. So I'll link some of my favorite scents down below. I love Bay's. I love roses, I love gardenia, but there's a few others that I like. I'll link them down below, but if you're looking to splurge a little on the candle, try the Dip Teeth brand. I really, really have fallen in love. So that is it, guys. 10 best of beauty for 2019. I would love to know some of your best of beauty down below in the comments, so make sure to put your best of beauty down below in the comment section, and make sure to check out the info box for everything that I mentioned. I will also put some honorable mention beauty products in the info box for you guys as well. Just a few products that I felt deserve to be in the top 10 but they just didn't quite make it but thank you guys so much for hanging out happy holidays make sure to hit that subscribe button that notification button if you are new to my channel my name is amanda it is so nice to meet you and i will see you guys in my next video talk to you soon bye-bye